Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a form to be a button on your Squarespace site natively so that when someone clicks on the button, it opens up as a form. All right, so here we are on my demo website. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the back end here. And then once I'm back here, I'm just gonna click edit on the page. This is the page that I wanna add this form as a button. So I'm gonna click edit and we're gonna get to work. Now, it's a little bit of a manual process um, initially, but once you get it set up, it's magic. So I'm gonna click add button or add block, sorry. And then what I'm gonna do is add in a form. So once you add in the form, beautiful. Um, you add in the form, you start to edit the form. I have another video that walks you through all the features of the form and getting it set up right. Um, you'll see all of that here. Make sure you get all of it set up, but here is where you do the magic. So you'll click design and then you'll hit light box. Once you do that, it'll say, Hey, what do you want the button to say? And it could be book, a uh, consultation. Perfect. And then right here, it'll say, where do you want the button to go within this box? With Fluid Engine, it kind of doesn't matter. Ah, uh, yeah, it kind of does. But I'll just say left for this section here. I want it to show up on the left. So that is set up. I'll click and drag this down here. I'll bring this back right here. Perfect. So we are good to go. Perfect. So now we have it there and it's set up. So I'm going to go in and hit save. Once I've done that, you'll see here, this is how it works. So I'll just click on it, boom, and the form pops up. The main things to note with this form, few things. Number one, you see where it says new form? Well, that's the name of the form in the back end. So you wanna make sure whatever you name it can be relevant here, or it'll show up on the site and be a little weird. So if you have like special code names for everything, it'll be weird if it says homepage form three or one or seven or whatever. So just give it a name. Book a consultation in this case would be perfect. Uh, you could also see here the branding is completely generic. If you want to customize this and make it look right, we have code and a plugin. It's really affordable, super easy to get started too. You just copy and paste the code in, you're good to go, and it'll match the brand look and feel for your site. It's not super extensive where it's going to rebrand and design everything, but it'll have a better feel than just generically what's sitting here right now. Now, one other tip I want to make about this, I absolutely love this feature. I used it when I first started my design business on my site. But let's just say you're going to build out a page where you have this book a consultation form in like five sections on your page. Highly, highly recommend that the first time you build it, what you try to do is you build it once to be exactly as you want it. And then from there, you duplicate the sections so it's easy to scale instead of having to recreate it every time. What I mean is if I want to add it to this section here, I have to recreate it. Um, I can't drag it into this next section below. I'd have to duplicate the section and go from there. So try to create it initially in like a blank section. The way I would do it is I'd probably do something like this. I'd hit add section. I literally add a blank section and then I would do exactly what I just did. Boom. So now it is a, uh, a button on the page and I would just add it in like that. And then I would just come in here and then hit duplicate for the entire section. So then anytime I create a new section, it already has the button there. I can move it where I want, whatever I like, but it's already designed. So I don't have to recreate the form, especially if you make a super custom form, you'd have to go in and recreate the form every single time, which is a lot of work. So this keeps it simple, easy, and really quick to get started. Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells me that you got value from today's content. It tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from today's content. Next, if you want more resources for your site on Squarespace, anything from SEO to blogging, check out the links below. We have so many resources on our website and we're publishing new resources each and every month. So we have plugins, we have downloadables, we have free downloadables, we have blog posts, we have a ton of content, we have a ton of services, a ton of great things for you. Finally, if you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. My mind is blown that we're publishing three videos a week. It is a lot of content, but we're doing it for you. So three videos a week. If you want more, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.